Hi, I'm Skyler. We've done a few geocaching episodes in the past, but uh, things have changed a little bit and I wanted to go over it again. So I'm going to use an iPhone for this tutorial today and an app that I'm using is called Caches. It's a really nicely designed iOS 7 app. Uh, it doesn't have any reviews and that's actually why I'm using it. Okay, so here it is in the App Store. Just search for geocaching and it'll be, you know, I think the third or fourth one. And right now I recommend it because it's less than half the price of the official geocaching app to which database it refers. So that is to say that when you use the caches application and you sign in with your geocaching account, you get access to the same information in a much better interface. Okay, so here's caches. Um, right now it's uh, overlaid on Apple's map data, uh, but it can change between Apple, Google, and I think one other. Let's see, default map. Yeah, we could do standard Google Maps, OpenStreetMap, or Apple Maps. Okay, so we'll go back to caches. All right, so now on the web, go to geocaching.com and sign up for a membership. All right, so once you've successfully created and validated your membership, open up the app on your iPhone. Okay, and type in the username you just created and the password you just made. Okay, tap allow access so that the app can get information from your geocaching.com profile. Okay, so you're set up now and the application can now download information from the geocaching database. And look at that. As soon as we refreshed, we see all sorts of green dots around my city. And so I could tap on one of these. And it looks like there's a tiny itty bitty little cache in Lincoln Park. So I can click on this and see some information about it. Really easy one. So I can tap navigate the cache and right away the app opens up and points the direction I should be walking in order to find this cache. So if you'd like to use a phone, specifically an iPhone, in order to do some geocaching, I think this is a great place to start. It's a really beautifully designed app and was very easy to set up. Thanks for watching. I'm Skyler.